What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Hamilton Train Podcast. My name is Jared Hamilton. I'm so glad you're here, actually. That is better. Uh, <laughs> for those that are listening, it's just the audio of my camera was a little crooked. So, uh, yeah, I just straightened her up a little bit. But anyway, we are doing this. I am so excited to be with you in the house today. Thank you for being here. We are going zero notes today zero notes. So, um, cause basically today's episode is kind of ranty, but I got a big, big surprise at the end of it. So before we get into all of that, um, massive thank you to our two sponsors, some sponsor number one, flex pro meals guys. I talk about them all the time cause they're fucking badasses of what they do and they keep me taken care of because my life is on the go. It's gets very unexpected stuff happens, stuff comes up and, um, yeah, so I, they keep me out of drive throughs <laughs> So I guess I'm telling you, I love having flex pro in my fridge where, you know, something's going on. I can just pop a meal in the microwave. That's in line with my goals. It tastes great. It was made by a chef. Um, and it keeps my shit in gear. So love them. If, if that's kind of your cup of tea, definitely check them out. The link below or go to flexpromeals.com. If you buy anything, I want you to save money. Um, so use my code Hamilton trained. And of course it does give your boy a kickback. So I appreciate that. Now, um, massive thank you to sponsor number dose, which is first form. And you can see a little bit of my first form shelf. And if you're watching the video, um, Guys, it doesn't get any better in the world, world of supplements in first form. Um, it's why I partnered with them. Guys, I, I get, to be honest with you, I get people, I get uh, inquiries literally every week about um, sponsorships um, and people wanting me to sell their shit. And like, I, I take this as a, a big thing. Like, I mean, it's cool that they ask, but like, I feel like I've also have, have a responsibility, responsibility to protect you and make sure I only partner with companies that I think are um, bad motherfuckers and are doing things the right way. So that's why when I say, Hey, I'm working with first form, I'm working with flex pro or any other company in the future. Um, that's the, that's what's going on. So you can definitely rest assured knowing that you're going to be taken care of and that I stand behind the companies that I, that I partner with hundred percent. Um, and first form is one of those in the world of supplements and stuff. So, uh, if you are new to supplements and not sure where to start, I actually have a big supplement YouTube video you should check out. Um, but otherwise definitely if you're, um, in the world of supplements, go use, use first form. Like I'm telling you, you'll, you'll be thankful that you did. Um, I'll leave their link below. Um, but otherwise let's get into today's episode. Now, today's episode, we, it, it, like I said, it's kind of a rant because, um, uh, guys, I'm just so fucking tired of challenges. I'm so tired, especially going into the new year. It's like everyone and their brother is doing a weight loss challenge. So, um, spoiler, spoiler alert, I'm going to launch a challenge. So, um, but I'll tell you about me launching my challenge at the end of this, but I want to like, I'm going to get ranty for a second guys. I fucking hate challenges. Hate them, hate them, hate them. Because here's the thing. I, I, let me rephrase that. I hate 98% of challenges. Because the, th the truth is, with when it comes to challenges, is most of them are not just bad, but they are so trash that they leave you in a worse place than when you started. And they're literally one of the most like one of the biggest reasons why most people struggle forever and they they never get ahead of this thing. It's, it's like, they mean, like, I get it. They mean well, like spot, like, like, uh, like challenges mean well, they, they, they try to like people who go through challenges are like, they just, they mean to get their shit together. But like nine times out of 10 challenges are just the blind leading the blind. They're totally unsustainable. They're extreme as fuck. You rebound really hard. I feel a sneeze coming by the way. Um, fair warning. <laughs> excuse me. Sorry, David, <laughs> to who's doing my audio. Um, where was I at? You rebound really hard. Uh, in most cases, they leave you in a worse place than when you started. They make any issue you have like a thousand times worse. Um, and like they, they leave most people feeling more like a failure. Actually, while we're here on the podcast, I'm actually, I actually asked a poll in my Facebook group the other day and I want, and I just seen a little bit of these. So I'm actually, while we're filming and recording, I'm going to go in here, um, and show you what I'm talking about. This is why I hate challenges. Um, let's see while I'm pulling this up, I'm going to keep talking though. Um, that's, that's the truth is, is in most people's cases, like, they, like, like this is how it normally happens. You know, someone's like, you know what? I want to lose some weight. I want to feel better. You know what? My work is doing a challenge. And, uh, Sarah, who's always, you know, never had any semblance of success on her own is hosting and starting a challenge. So I think we're going to just do it and go by Sarah's rules. And Sarah's rules are usually something like, um, are usually something like, oh, let's cut out sugar. Let's stop going out to eat. Let's, um, start, 
doing this. Let's start doing that. Let's, um, let's quit. Let's quit, quit. Uh, I don't know. Let's quit eating sugar. Let's, and all these super unsustainable things. And it's like, and then it's no wonder why you binge after it's over. It's no wonder after all is said and done, you just like your life sucks with all this stuff. And it's no wonder you sabotage any, what you do lose. It's no wonder you're pissed that you lost four pounds when you think you should have somehow lost 30. Um, here we go. Got it. I found it. You see what I'm saying? That's the issue. So I actually asked this question in my Facebook group. Um, I asked, I said, how many of you, um, have done a normal fat loss challenge, but let, but it left you in a worse spot than when you started. And here are some of the replies. Um, one person said it hyper-focused on all the wrong things. It reinforced a bad relationship with food. I see that all the time. Someone else said, Oh, um, I worked for the Florida Department of Health and we did a biggest loser challenge. It was based on percentage of body weight lost with weekly weigh-ins, which is totally out of context. I lost a lot in place. Um, it was even on the paper. I found out I could drop 10 pounds in a week if I had worked at it. But the thing is, that's the thing is, but then nine times out of 10, that person gains all their weight back because you should not be losing weight that fast, right? Um, Another person said the things I failed the most were any diet that was no this, no that. Keto was worse for me. I see that a lot. Um, someone else said most challenges are time frame specific and focus on most fat or weight loss in the shortest amount of time. It messes with my head. I started thinking that perfectly sticking to a set of rules is the only way to make progress. Feeling hungry and deprived is normal and good. And then the scale is not moving as quickly as I expect it to during uh, and after the challenge. Then comparing my progress uh, to someone else's progress, it all led to being messed up around food in the scale. Wow. That right. It's the, this is the kind of, these are the issues. Um, let's see. Uh, someone else said 60 day challenge. Oh, that, that's a long one for a challenge. Uh, a few of them weekly check-ins, low cow, low carb, low everything. No so-called cheats, always hungry, tired and binge like crazy when it was over. It's it, 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 see what well, someone else said did well, but not sustainable, extremely bad relationship with food. Now I'm heavier than before. I started these challenges seems so much more difficult to lose. And now over 40, I'm frustrated with it. This is the fucking problem. This is it. This is why I hate challenges. And like, I like, I have to refrain myself on, on <laughs> online when I see people posting about challenges to not be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you know, you can't sustain that. You know, you can't do that forever. You know that none of this is going to work long term. And you wonder why you gain all your fucking weight back. This is the issue. So if you don't do anything from this point mo moving forward, I'm telling you right now, just avoid challenges by all cost, or at least 98% of them. All right. That, that's the issue. This is why you have to remember this, guys, from the standpoint of uh, what can you do forever? If what you're doing is not having the habitual momentum and you're not having the, the mindset and the habits and the food relationships and the relationship with yourself that's in place, that you're just going to like be on this perpetual diet forever, right? Like if, if the only way you know how to lose weight is starve, beat yourself up, work out every day, have a horrendous late relationship with food. How the fuck do you think you're going to maintain your success forever? You know, you're going to have to keep doing that shit. This is why most people, they want to lose a bunch of weight. They want to do a challenge and then they like lose a bunch of weight in the challenge and it like takes all their happiness and willpower. And then they have a moment where they break, then they gain all their weight back and then welcome to the cycle for the next 20 years. And it's a huge issue. That's why like for most people, like when you see, especially like the new year starting, right? This is the big thing. When the new year starts, everyone's doing a challenge. When it's like everybody's work is doing a biggest loser. Everybody's doing a, an X many day reset or a 21 day fix or a blah, 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 30 pounds of 30 days fat loss challenge. And it's just fucking trash because it's going to just destroy everything that you're trying to do. It's no wonder you struggle for your whole life. It's no wonder most people who have been doing challenges have been dieting for decades, right? So here's what we're going to do. And I wanted to mention this on the podcast because a lot of the, my people who follow the podcast, you guys, you guys get it, right? Um, because here's the thing. If you're willing to listen to my podcast episodes, you, you're, you're not a fan of diet culture more than likely. You, you're starting to turn the corner with um, your perspectives around this stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm so fucking irate at challenges and all the people who do them the wrong way, me and my team are going to do a challenge, but the right way. So here's the thing. We're going to do challenge this challenge, our challenge 
in like the most not challenge way possible. You know what I mean? So here, I'm going to explain it to you. So first and foremost, um, if that's, if, if you've heard enough already, go hit the link in my bio and sign up right now. It's free and I'll explain all the details, but here's the, here's, here's how we're going to structure this thing. Cause like, like I said, I'm so sick of people doing challenges. I'm going to do one the right way. I'm going to show you and we're going to put you through it and making, make sure that you're never going to do another bullshit challenge ever again. You're going to do ours and it's going to be great. <laughs> okay. So here's what our challenge is going to be set up like and why it's so different. Number one, most challenges are based on a, uh, a on a specific poundage, right? Whoever loses the most weight or the most amount of body fat wins, whatever. Um, ours is not based in results at all, right? Most people are like, who loses the most weight in 21 days? Well, you're not supposed to lose weight in 21 days. Fun fact. So ours is going to be based in habits, in momentum and sustainability, not in who loses the most. Because again, I don't give a shit how much you lose when you gain it all back, right? It's, come on, right? So um, ours is going to be the normal time length, right? Our, when we're doing this, we're going to do it for about three weeks, three and a half weeks or so. Um, just be so so what happens is if you've been following you know me online i've been talking about it since the 3rd our challenge officially starts the 10th so from the time of recording this it starts um on the 10th now if you're listening to this after you know let's say months down the road we very well may do more challenges right um depending on how this one goes but the whole premise behind this is still the same where like if you're going to do your own challenge, do it how I'm going to say it here and not like how everyone else does it. Okay. So how we're going to do ours though, is like I said, we're going to be, we're going to have it based in habits and momentum and not in physical results. It's going to meet everyone where they're at, right? So this is not for like only advanced people. This is for people who've been struggling most of their lives. And it's teaching you how to set up your own plan, not just do what everyone else does. Like when Karen says, Hey, cut out sugar and soda and wine, right? So what we're going to do is you're going to have not the line blind leading the blind. You're going to have us leading you, me and my whole team. Cause most challenges they have, you have someone who has never actually had any success long-term showing you how to lose weight. So with this, what we're going to do me and my team's going to be leading it. We're going to be showing you and giving you our systems, our information, our guidance, our support, and our accountability. Fun fact, for free. Literally, my challenge is going to be free. It's not going to cost you anything. And then also, we're going to give away a $500 cash prize to the winner. And we're, But like I said, the winner is based off of your whole experience with sustainability and momentum, if I can talk not in how much weight you can lose. So that's why this challenge is called the momentum building challenge, because the goal of our challenge is for you to be good after the challenge is over and to continue on on your own without any struggle. That's why most people can't get through the initial stage of getting momentum. Think of like pushing a car. It sucks in the beginning, but once you get momentum, you're good. So how we're doing this is we want you to have the momentum. So when the challenge is over, you're crushing it. Your habits are already in place. You know exactly what to do. That's how we're basing it. We're basically getting you to the point where you're not having training wheels and you're just going, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give you our systems, our process, our support, our accountability. And then we're also going to give you like an incentive of like, literally, you could win $500 cash from me, like take my money <laughs> because that's how we're going to go about doing this. So there's way more details at the, uh, at the actual sign up link, but this is just a little bit kind of cliff notes. Um, it's cause I don't want to take the entire time, uh, you know, telling you all the stuff that you're going to read about anyway. So that's the truth. That's how, even if, whether you ever do this challenge or not, this is how I want you to view all challenges. This is how I want you to, if you're going to do a challenge, do it this way. Think less about how much weight can I lose in 21 days and think of it like how much momentum can I get in 21 days? What kind of habits can I have in place in 21 days? Hey, are the habits that I'm doing now and what I'm putting into place going to be consistent for the next year and a half? That's the kind of perspective and mindset we're going to go into this. Like I said, ours is called the momentum building challenge because it's about building momentum where you can keep going and not struggle anymore versus what every other one else does is see how much you can starve in the next 21 days. So that is what the challenge is about. That is how to go about a challenge the right way. So if that, if you're like, all right, let's fucking roll. Let's do this. This is what I want to do. This sounds good. Go to the link in my bio right now and sign up for the challenge. The link is down there. Um, and then get plugged in, get registered. That way, once we start, you have all the information, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, but otherwise, that's it for today's episode. I know this is a little bit smaller of an episode. This was more ranty and letting you know what's going on. But otherwise, I appreciate you watching. I will see you inside the challenge. I will talk soon.